All right, here's the thing about the 40 megapixel uh, sensor from Fuji on the X-H2. I have a couple of questions about how does it compare to the Canon R5. I shot with the Canon R5, I recently sold it. And I sold it because the X-H2S could perform as well in event photography situations, which is my preferred genre. Um, I need the speed, the low light performance. X-H2S is awesome. Having bought the X-H2, it's a different beast. You can't take the same size sensor and put more pet megapixels in and get the same type of performance. So low light is gonna be uh, lower performance because the pixels are smaller, so they're gonna be less able to pick up that light. And the other thing is, like I think of the analogy of a, um, a dirt bike. So there's a two-stroke dirt bike, there's a four-stroke dirt bike, and if you don't know the difference, you think a dirt bike is a dirt bike. I get on it, I ride, there's two wheels. But a two-stroke engine performs in such a way that the power band kicks in at a very specific RPM and then the performance is exponential. That's the XH2S sensor. That is a completely different sensor and the way it's constructed, I have experienced is amazing. Now the XH2 sensor is larger in terms of resolution, in terms of megapixels, but it's not the same amazing design as the XH2S. You're looking at more like a four stroke dirt bike, which is kind of slower, smoother power band. You can't handle all the rugged terrain and the extreme demands. You have to work within the confines of what that sensor is comfortable doing. So for me, I need to do some testing in optimal light. I need to do some testing where I'm at a reasonable shutter speed for the camera motion. Uh, my tests have all been kind of at sunset and then I'm trying to crank the ISO and do all these things that the camera is really not going to perform well doing. A word of caution, a word of caution about the X-H2 is you cannot compare it to the X-H2S and you can't compare it to the full frame Canon R5. It doesn't make sense. That's a bigger sensor with the same number of megapixels. Those pixels are going to perform differently. Okay, that being said, make sure you have compatible lenses. I think one of my mistakes has been just shooting with whatever was laying around in the X-mount world and I'm going to be testing it with compatible lenses as Fuji says on the website. I'm going to do some proper tests and I will let you know but a word of caution. You're a beautiful person and a good person and if no one has told you that today let me be the first one to tell you that. Word of caution XH2. Use it under optimal conditions. All right be smart people. Peace.